Jasmine. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to hit that big red button to subscribe and the little bell next to it to get notified whenever I post a new video. So, since a lot of you guys liked the last bit tutorial video I did, I decided to do another one today. Just this time, it's going to be on the camel spin and flying camel spin. So, shout out to all the people who requested this video. Figure Skating Stan, The Maya Show, Hiccup01, Bethany Merritt, and Alex the Queen. So, let's get started. So before I go onto the ice, I'm going to show you guys a couple of exercises that will help you with your camel and your flying camel. So the first exercise I'm going to be showing you guys is really simple, but it helps a lot with your both your camel and your flying camel spin. So all you're going to do is you're going to stand like this to a wall with both of your hands holding on. You're going to place one of your foot right here so that you can stand on it, and then one foot behind you. And you're just going to kick up your leg as far as you can, either into a spiral or camel position. And you're going to repeat that 10 times. So then you're going to repeat on the other leg for your back camel. So again, you're just going to stand like this in front of the wall and place both of your hands right here, like so. And then you're just going to kick your leg up as far as you can, either into a spiral or camera position, and repeat that 10 times. exercise I'm going to show you guys is again helpful for both of your spins and we're just going to stand like this sideways facing the wall and you're going to place one arm on the wall like this and you're going to lift your leg up into a camel position like that and then you're just going to bend your standing leg. You're going to do that 10 times. Then we're going to repeat the same thing on the other foot. So I'm going to stand side to the wall with one hand on the wall like this. And I'm going to go into my camel position. And I'm going to bend my leg 10 times. I stay. exercise I'm going to be showing you guys is a little exercise to do on the ice before you even start spinning. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the wall of the ice and then you're going to just place your back foot or the leg that you're going to be holding up in your camel position on the wall and once you feel like you're sturdy enough then you're going to take your arms off and try and balance yourself out like you're in a camel position. Then, of course, you have to repeat the same exercise on the other leg so you can warm up your back camel position as well. Then, you are going to warm up your spiral and you want to make sure to get your leg at least as far as you can for your camel position because this will help you in your spin as well. So there are two different ways to get into your camel spin. The first way is the way that I'm showing you right now, and then the second way is the one that I'm showing you right now. There are two different ways, but you, they both get you into the camel spin, which is the most important one. But I like the first way better, so that's the one I'm going to be showing you guys. So the way that I get into my camel is by doing an inside three turn and then I just step into my camel edge and start spinning. 
It's very straightforward, and I think that this one is so much easier for beginners. But if your coach tells you to try it with a crossover instead of an inside three turn, then you should do what your coach says, because your coach is the one who teaches you all these things. But I prefer this way over the other one. But for the crossover entry into your spin, it is also very simple. All you have to do is a crossover, hold in wind up, which is an inside edge, then just step into your spin. So one important thing to remember when you go into your spin, and this applies to every type of camel spin, is that when you step to go into your spin, you want to have your leg that is on the ice a little bit bent because you can't spin with your leg completely straight. You can't go into the spin like that. And once you feel like you're in the spin and you have a good position, then you can start and straighten your leg. the camel spin it is very 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 important to maintain your balance on your spinning leg because you guys might be thinking isn't it important to maintain your balance for every spin it is but especially for a camel spin because if you're too far forward then you'll fall forward if you're too far back you won't be able to spin so you want to make sure that your body is parallel with the ice, that you're spinning on the ball of your foot so that it makes it easier to rotate, and then you'll be able to spin longer and it will be easier as well. Here are a couple of tips that I always use for my camel spin. In your camel spin, you want to make sure to have your upper body completely flat to the ice because if you turn to the side, you'll start to travel. And as you can see, I am in a complete straight line. And you also want to make sure that you have your foot turned out because it makes it look prettier and it also makes you spin faster. It makes your spin accelerate more. You want to make sure that both of your legs are completely locked straight because it'll make you not wobble and it'll help you balance. Now that you've mastered your forward camel, it's time for you to learn how to do a backward camel. For me, I only know of one way of how to get into your backward camel, and I'm showing you it right now. So I just do an inside edge and then a kind of like a three turn turn into like my backward camel it's kind of hard to explain but on the video you'll see it and this way it's just easier for me I can't really think of a different way of how to get into it but this is the way I like to do it so again going into your back camel it's exactly the same as your forward camel you want to make sure that you are completely parallel with the ice and that means that you're straight and then you're if you lay down on the ice you'll be level like if your leg wasn't there so this if you lean too far forward you'll fall forward on your face and trust me i've done it a million times it hurts so bad and if you lean way too far back, you'll fall backwards. You're not just going to not be able to balance. You'll actually fall backwards out of the spin. That also hurts as well. So you want to make sure that you find the sweet spot, as we skaters call, which is on the ball of your foot, like right in between the ball and the palm of your foot, so that it'll be easier for you to center and stay level. So to, some tips for your back camel that I would give for you guys is to make sure that you're level and that you're not twisting. Again, same as the forward camel. You want to make sure that your leg or foot is turned out. It makes it look so much like a million times better. And it also makes you accelerate, which the judges love. And also, you want to make sure to keep both of your legs, the one that is spinning and the one that is free in the air, straight because it just looks better again. But this also helps you maintain your balance because if you're if your legs are bent, you'll wobble all over the place, and you don't want that to happen.
So once you mastered your forward and backward camel, it's time for you to learn a flying camel. I love flying camels, they're super duper fun, and you guys might be wondering why do you have to have a forward and backward, because a flying camel is the entry of a forward camel, whichever one you choose, and you land in a backward camel, so you want to make sure you have them both down. But there are a lot of mistakes that I've seen a million people do before. It's totally normal, but here I am to help you guys fix that. So I wanted you guys to learn how to do a flying camel correctly. So when I asked my coach, like spin coach, to help me like memorize how to do one, she explained it in a way that sounded kind of like rocket science to me, but I'm going to try my best. So here we go. So first you're going to warm it up on the wall and you're just going to do this exercise where you just walk it through. You're going to hold onto the wall and kick around and push off of the wall to jump in the air and land in a backward camel position. And let go if you can. And then now we're going to move on to trying it on the ice. So we're going to walk it out on the ice. So we're going to stand on a line or just... Make sure you're straight, and then you're going to push onto an outside edge, whichever foot is comfortable for you. Spring your foot around to the front, step on your toe, and then push into a back camel position. It doesn't have to be perfect or amazing. This is just for you to get, like, understand how a flying camel works. So now we're going to try a little mini flying camel from the same standstill. So you're going to step on an edge, bring your back foot around in front of you, and you're going to jump out, land on your toe pick, and go into a back camel. One of the most common mistakes people tend to do on a flying camel is when they step, they go into a waltz jump. So that means they jump into the circle they're making. You're supposed to go around, make a kind of tiny, like, loop formation, and then you're jumping out of the circle, not into it. Oh, and that um, little thumbs up at the end. Don't, you don't have to do that. That was just me being me, so. That's not a part of learning how to do a flying camel, by the way. So once you feel like you've mastered all of the exercises I just showed you guys, it's time for you to try your flying camel. So the same thing as in your forward camel, you have to, once you land out of your flying position into your camel position, you want to have your spinning leg bent because if it's straight, you could injure yourself. And once you feel like you're starting to spin easily, then you want to start straighten both of your legs. So you want to make sure that you're going to keep your chest up. Don't bring it down because that will pull you forward and you're going to not be able to do the flying camel correctly. So you want to make sure to keep your chest up and you're going to make sure you're parallel. All of these camel spins, you have to make sure you're parallel to the ice or else something will go terribly wrong. You'll either fall forward, backward, sideways. So that is why it's so important to make sure you are staying, you are parallel to the ice. So also another major tip is to make sure that when you land out of your jump, you want to make sure to land on your toe pick. It don't land flat footed. I've made that mistake so many times. It's just not, you're not able to be spin afterwards because you're going to be flat footed and you'll just make this weird like scratchy stoppy noise and a bunch of ice will go flying up so that's a way to detect that you're landing flat-footed but if you land with your on your toe it'll be so much easier just to glide down off of your toe and easier to get to the ball of your foot to spin and you guys have heard this million times already in this video 
but you guys are going to hear this one last time. You want to make sure to have your free leg, like, turned out so it looks prettier. And also keep both of your legs completely straight because it also looks prettier. But if you do these, it'll be easier to have your spin accelerate and it'll look just amazing. And that is how you'll get extra points and competitions for them. That's it for today's video, and I hope you guys liked it, but also that it helped you guys with either your camel or fly camel or even both. And I want you guys to comment down below which is your favorite figure skating spin. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Love you guys. Bye!